Dr. Clayt Braun, whose academic background includes degrees in technical agronomy, wildlife management, and wildlife biology, worked for 30 years at the Colorado Division of Wildlife. He's authored over 200 scientific, peer-reviewed, and technical publications, and he's particularly known for research that led to the discovery of the Gunnison sage-grouse. In September 2004, I asked Dr. Braun for his opinion about the value of holistic management of cattle, for avian species on western public lands. I've heard a lot about the Allen Savory uh, methods, holistic management, so to speak, and uh, uh, it's almost a religion. Uh, it's more religion to it and belief uh, than there is science. Uh, the system was developed in, in, in the Africa where, where you have rhizotomous grass uh, plants, plants that have rhizotomous roots. The more you graze them, the more they spread. Most of the grasses in North America aren't like that. There are some examples, uh, exotic grasses especially, that do that. Uh, but they're not the native grasses that uh, uh, developed here. Consequently, uh, the savory method of in, uh, high, uh, short duration, high intensity grazing works best in irrigated pastures and farmland, okay, where you can move the animals uh, every seven days or three days or whatever. You have water tanks or salt blocks, whatever. You ring a bell and the, and the animals move, uh, so I'm told. Some do. Uh, they really aren't effective on, on native rangelands or even highly disturbed rangelands that we have uh, across western North America. So I really don't have anything good to say about it, uh, except that if you're raising cows on irrigated pasture in Iowa, or sub-irrigated sub pasture, it might work perfectly well. But short duration, high intensity grazing is negative for birds that uh, are ground nesters, are birds that live in the uh, vegetation at knee height or lower. It's negative uh, and it's deadly uh, for them and, and decreases numbers markedly. Uh, there may be one or two exceptions where that's not true, maybe horned larks, maybe. Don't know, haven't seen the data. But in general, holistic management is uh, um, smoke and mirrors, hocus pocus, uh, very little useful substance in, in terms of managing western rangelands. Uh, even in the, in the Dakotas, where you have uh, uh, less evaporation of, of moisture and, and more effective precipitation because of less evaporation, uh, Holistic management really doesn't work very well uh, on, on in, the, in the prairies. Um, maybe a buffalo grass system, but a lot of it, a lot of it depends on what you're uh, managing for. If you're managing for mountain plovers, uh, there might be some benefit. But boy, you'd be hard pressed to find any benefit for any gallinaceous bird, and, and for most most grassland birds, it doesn't work. But there are lots of people who swear by it. But it, it's kind of like uh, uh, being religious, and, and you, you have to uh, really buy in. Uh, and not everybody has bought in, and the data don't support their beliefs. The, all the trampling will put in more seeds, all the manure will fertilize those seeds, and, uh, and uh, the heavy trampling will create a, a smooth s system where we don't have erosion, on and on and on and on, no matter how you, you cut it. It's, uh, pretty far-fetched.